Hey, when you're listening to vertical worship songs, you're obviously listening to the final product, right? But I'm standing at one of our locations for our church, downtown Chicago. This is a cathedral building that survived the Chicago fire. And we moved in about 2011, 2012. And since then, we've been using this location as a primary location for writing a lot of the vertical worship songs that you hear. You know, when I look around this room, even before I talk about the songs, this is where we recorded the first vertical worship record. And then we recorded Bright Faith, Bold Future here as well. I remember standing on this stage singing, open up the heavens for the first time and just, just thinking, I don't know what's gonna happen with this song, but we'll see. And then watching what the Lord did it. I, re I remember sitting in this seat over here uh, while we were making that record, coming up with the chorus for a song called Word of God and deciding which one I had to make. But then later on, we wrote Rock Won't Move. A bunch of guys sitting up behind that curtain, there's a little room back there and they, they just spent that time with the Lord writing that song in front of that huge pipe organ. It's one of the oldest pipe organs in the country. Uh, we sat in front of it and uh, we weren't playing the organ, but we wrote the song, Strength of My Life and Over All I Know. And then Real Thing was up in the room behind that curtain as well. And then downstairs, three of us sat in a corner and wrote the song, Lamb of God. And then on the other side, there's this little kitchen area where a couple of the guys wrote, um, Spirit of the Living God. Wow, all these songs that have come out of this building and before they even make it to a record, we fill this place every Sunday and we play the songs to our congregation and we allow them to sing them back to us and then they make it to recordings and then they make it to you.